Hey, how's it going? I'm Jeff Chapman and welcome back to my Wonder Woman Photoshop tutorial. So this is where we left off last time and this time we're gonna finish the costume and move on to some of the other elements. And what we're gonna do next is do her um, her little headpiece, her tiara, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And for that we're going to use this picture right here. That is the wrong program. I'm going to use this kind of a neck piece on this knight. And before I cut it out, I'm just going to clone stamp out these holes here because I don't want these. And I'm going to have to mess with the uh, proportions a little bit to get it to how I want. Something like this. Let's put a drop shadow on that. And I'm going to do a color overlay. I'm going to take a color sample out of her chest armor. Put it on color. Alright, now I'm going to just going to mask this off. So I'm just going to put a clipping mask on the entire headpiece group. I'm going to go in my brush. And I'm just going to mask it off so it looks like it's underneath the hair. And I'm just going to darken these areas up. Okay, that's working pretty good, I think. So, I'm gonna add her um, her red star now. Back to my stock photos and Change the color. Let's do a red color overlay. And just do a slight drop shadow. Yeah. All right, I think our headpiece is done. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail to our top and then probably call it done. Let's try adding some uh, texture to her top. I'm just going to roughly, I'm hoping this texture was going to work. We'll see. And I'm just going to roughly warp the texture so it generally, generally fits the contours of her body. I'm going to go to hue saturation, change the color up a little bit. More like that.
Okay, so I added my texture and maybe let's add some more detail, maybe uh, some seams. So I'm just gonna go to my hue saturation and just match this color a little more, or I could probably just do a color overlay. That might be just the easier way. Yeah, that works fine. And I'm also going to blur it out a little bit because it's a little too sharp. Let's try blur more. Uh, maybe blur more again. Yeah, that works. That works. Let's do that. And just gonna warp it a little bit so it kind of would fit her body contours a little bit more. I think we're good. And I think we can actually call the costume done. Yeah. Let's um let's call the costume done and move on. So I'm just gonna clip this pillar out. Maybe do a gradient overlay on it. Let's see how that, how that looks. Okay, now I need to, that's pretty good for now, I think. So now I need to uh, create some shadows on our hands here. to darken up her her uh, bracelets a little bit too just gonna be you know lower the opacity down I'm just gonna add a little more shadows up there. All right, I think we got our rubble looking pretty good. Uh, I think maybe I'll add in the background picture. Let's make it roughly like that. And I'm gonna lighten up a little bit, so I'm gonna do a color overlay. Like a soft light. 
maybe. Yeah. And I want to extend extend the street a little. Right now I'm just um stretching out the street so it goes a little further. And you see I put the uh, the sun in the background on her right side to match up with this bright backlighting I have here which creates this kind of white highlight line so the light in the background kind of works with the light in the front and I'm actually gonna go back into her hair and add a little bit of a highlight right here I don't really have any highlight on her hair and I'm just gonna take the highlight from this woman's hair and put it on Wonder Woman and I'm gonna put that on screen so I'm only getting my highlights and yeah that worked worked out pretty good I like that I like that a lot actually and I'm just gonna mask it off and just go in here and take out what I don't need cool yeah that's working out working out good going to end it here soon but I'm actually going to do one more thing and that is her hair is a little too brown right now um, one woman's hair is more black more straight up black with a little bit of blue kind of highlights in it and I'm just going to paint over all of her hair all right so let's go to color and see how that looks. Now that's obviously way too harsh. That's like a clown blue. So I'm going to mess with that a little bit. I'm going to turn the saturation down. Still a little too gray. So I'm just going to turn the opacity down. That's better. Yeah, her hair looks more black now. And I'm going to make another layer and call it blue. And I'm just going to take a blue color like that. And I'm just going to paint over the highlights. Let's go to soft light. Again, this way too intense, obviously not the right color so I'm just gonna change the blue a little bit take down the saturation now let's go back and erase some of that I'm gonna make a new layer just for this kind of highlighted edge over here Do soft light. Yeah. All right, made some good progress. Um, I thought I finished the costume. I thought I was going to, but unfortunately, I still have her lasso. But yeah, we'll add her lasso in next time. That will be it for this video. And we might finish in the next video. I'm not sure. Depends how long it takes. Depends how much more detail I want to add. But we're almost there. So uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next part. Maybe the final part.